And as my great-grandfather once famously said, don't ever trust anyone named Gorka. Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Ninja Review, a series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. Today we should have an action-packed episode because in my notes I wrote down the word hipster, so let's jump into it. Play, Chris Athens. All good. We're going to be bored to death. <sighs> Please, God, let there be a skateboarding trick. There we go. Front tail. Ollie's up, nose manual. Oh, okay, that was cool. I can kind of see the hipster steez there, but when I write down the word hipster, usually what I'm talking about is no complies. Jumps over the chain. It's got some hops. Maybe I wrote hipster because it's got that New York steez. Oh, see, exactly. You do a trick right after the trick. You roll away for a little while, throw an impossible in there, roll into the street, go down the gutter, run into a cop, kickflip. Nice. Another impossible. Here we go. Frontside flip. I'm looking forward to at least 15 more impossibles. For sure. I've been to this spot. Crooked grind. Manuals. He's hauling butt. <laughs> this was actually a really dope spot. Another impossible. Wow, we're on uh, number three. Flat ground kickflip. The way this is filmed, wall ride, looks like it's downhill. But why would he have to push so hard? If it's downhill, it's probably not downhill. He's not hauling ass. Flat ground ollie. Flat ground ollie. Please let me see another flat ground kickflip or impossible. If I don't get one more impossible. Oh, that was cool. Alley oop 180, kick flip, flat ground. Thank you. Thank you for not letting me down. How long is this fucking video? I'm in a good mood. That was a beastly wall ride though. This is a oh a real hill bomb. It's a four minute video. And with these types of skaters, where a lot of it's just bombing hills and flat ground tricks, you could realistically condense this video down into a minute 30, but instead you're gonna do this. You're gonna film him roll away slow in 360. Wait, when did it go to black and white and why am I annoyed? And where's the skateboarding? Completely black screen. I have no idea what trick that was. No one does. You guys don't know what trick that was. Jaquan. I've heard this place is no longer skatable. I wonder if they shut it down or maybe security got pretty heavy. What's cool about this spot is it had everything. Giant stair set, ledges, small stair set, Gap, two ledges, manual pads, and a handrail. Oh, that, okay, somebody, the skater changed. That was a good skateboarder. That's a good skateboarder too, what happened here? There we go, this is the guy I remember. Switch manual. Please, God. Oh, I think it was the same guy, switch manual. You gotta show the trick twice. And now he's gonna roll in a big fucking circle, when in reality all you had to do was switch to, boom, switch to that clip. You can do manuals, good. That's what you get for wasting our fucking time. Did his haircut change? Flat ground kickflip? What? I would have never guessed that that was gonna happen. If it was me, if I had to give him advice, I would say, hey, you know all those flat ground kickflips you do before every trick? I would also give the fucking filmer advice. Quit fucking filming these boring ass bales. Why did it go to black and white too? Anyways, my advice would be, hey, maybe throw in a uh, front set flip, tray flip, ferial flip, you know? Maybe a good old fashioned Casper flip. It's been a while. Remember those? We gotta bring those back and make them cool. Another impossible! What in the heck? I had no idea that he could only do three flat ground tricks. I had no idea. Switch flip, there we go. At least he switched it up. Maybe he's listening. Can you hear me, Chris? Wait a minute, he's good at manuals now? This is fucking really boring. Oh, another 360 flat ground, cool. Oh, he's bad at manuals now. We never know, we never know with this kid. If anything, he at least always keeps me guessing. And that was the video, Chris Athens. I feel like I watched that video for way fucking too long. I enjoyed it at the beginning, only because I thought I was gonna talk more shit so you know what, in the end, Chris, maybe you're the winner and I'm the loser because I went into it 
with a negative attitude and I came out of it a little bit refreshed and I feel like I want to go work on my impossibles and my kickflips and I want to have a whole video part of nothing but flat ground because that's exciting to some people. If it is exciting to you, a link to that video will be in the description below and this video. Play! It's called Lucas Sebriurios Barrel Apart Ollie into a scorpion fucking he's doing the worm. Scotty Too Hotty style. Oh his white shirt's dirty! He got dirty! Oh no! Please let there be skateboarding. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Ooh, I drink water and I don't skate. Cool. Ollie. He's a little guy. Kick, flip, tick, tack. Nice. Crooked grind. This kid may have the tricks, but the style, style is going to be an issue here. I already know. I can already tell. 180, off the dock. Ride, off the dock. I would never call that a Wally. Can barely 50-50. Almost falls off the board, tic tacs around. Tray flip to hand touch. Kick flip. Oh, what could be next? Gigantic knot. Street gap. Back 50 50 to tic tac while grinding. He does a tic tac while grinding. I don't want to blame the kid. I mean, everyone has to take responsibility for their own fucking shitty skating. But the filmer should be telling this kid, hey, you could probably clean that up. You could probably tic-tac a little bit less. Maybe don't touch your hand on the ground. The filmer, it's not his responsibility, but if he wants this kid to be molded, hand touch, into a great skateboarder, you gotta offer some advice sometimes. Kick flip, hand touch. Oh my god. The hand touch is becoming more and more consistent here. Didn't touch his hands there. Oh look, he's at, he had to show his hands! I didn't touch my hands, look! It's not me, officer! My hands were above my waist! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hand touch again. Not since... Not since the days of Leo Romero in the pharmacy video Chili has any skateboarder touched their hands this much. Mark my words. I'm being trolled. Jesus Christ, another hand touch. He's trying to break the world record! How many more could it be? I can't even pay attention to the tricks anymore because I'm just watching his hands to see if they touch the ground. They can't touch right there, that would have been tough. Can you imagine how fucking crazy skateboarding would look if everyone who did a flat ground trick touched their hands? Oh! I don't know if that one touched. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh shit, I, I got a feeling these hands are going down. Yeah! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! I'm fucking psychic! Every time we do an episode, I'm psychic. Oh, that's not a nose grind. Who fell for that? No one. Oh, this could be the banger. Front side, lips. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone that's watching this, go out today and touch the ground. Just appreciate the earth. Appreciate the earth and the ground below you. Go and smell some flowers. Touch the ground. Give it a high five. You know what? This kid, he's probably just some type of vegan who appreciates everything that the earth grows so he has to be like hey earth man shout out for those brussels sprouts my guy i love those the skateboarder's name is lucas but i don't blame you lucas you don't know any better you're new to skateboarding you don't have the control you don't have the style yet and it'll come because one thing you do have is the tricks and the hand ground coordination i blame gorka ramirez in the description of this video it says filmed and edited by Gorka. And as my great-grandfather once famously said, don't ever trust anyone named Gorka. Clearly, in this instance, it was good advice because Gorka's on here telling Lucas, hey Lucas, all these tricks are good. There's no need to redo them. And Lucas is going, oh Yipa, you think so? Oh, thank you Gorka for the good advice, Yipa. No problem. I'm gonna submit this video to Ninja Lifestyle and I like all the hand touches because it makes you look shitty. No, Lucas, it's not your fault. It's Gorka's fucking Fault for not guiding you onto the path of enlightenment. Quit fucking touching your hands on the ground. Don't do it no more. Right? Good? Stop. You agree? I agree? Everyone agrees? Quit fucking doing that. 
Case closed. If you enjoyed that video and you want to watch it yourself and give your own ninja review, a link to that video will be in the description below. If you have a video that you would like to submit, just find me on Facebook, type in Ninja Lifestyle. Last week, I had a kid come onto my Twitch stream and he said, I can't figure out how to submit a video. And I said, well, I explain how to do it every single episode. And then he said, well, you're being a fucking asshole, man. Fuck you. All I can do with my short amount of time on earth is speak to you guys like human beings. I'm not here to coddle you. I'm not here to treat you like you're fucking stupid. I'm not here to hold your hand through some basic fucking instructions. If you can't figure it out, then don't. Huh? Good. Until next time, Kuna Matata, bitches.